Thank you, Stephen. You know, the pandemic changed things for a lot of workers out there. Some people yes. started working from home yep. and then are still at home and maybe they will forever be remote. So Home Depot Debbie Possibly. is here to make our home work life a little bit more comfortable, a yes. little easier. You know, any of these uh, ideas can be used at, in any office environment, home, work, you know, travel, anything, anything you have. So the first thing I want to talk about is, um, you know, surge protection in any office environment you, everything is so important and if we do have a power outage or a storm or whatnot you want to make sure that your electronics are protected number one and number two you have a battery backup so here's a couple of examples of surge protection i have one uh, plugged in right here um, there are some for theater home theater some for office and some that are multi uh, universal and then this is uh, what's called a battery backup surge protection so unit mean? so what that means is that's gonna protect your stuff while it's plugged in and then if in case you do have a power outage it's a battery backup so you don't oh. lose power and then there's these which I'm very excited about these? these are called emergency phone chargers I mean who knew Home Depot had such cool <laughs> stuff so these are pre-charged they get activated when you plug your power cord in. It doesn't come with a power cord. There's one for Android, one for iPhone, and you can just carry this in the car at the home if there's a power outage anywhere you are, and it gives you emergency power. I knew this the other day. Right? When my, I, I my mean, charger should was, we have like, my charger and all this stuff. <laughs> should have a dozen yes, standing by. that's handy. Um, this is a little trick um, for your keyboard and keeping your electronics clean. You want to use uh, spray air. This is called oh, duster, Okay. and this is for dust and you can't really see that it's doing something, but you know, in between your keys it does. So we're just gonna pour, I mean, who's gonna pour so you baby, can put powder. baby powder I mean, on your keyboard? You, this is for demonstration purposes only. This is to show that even a oh, hard okay. surface like <laughs> baby powder will come out with oh. and cleans it. So you can see that oh, it's it smells cleaning like baby powder now. It inside all of the crevices without getting harsh chemicals or anything like that to damage it. Oh, and it smells good and too. And it smells good. <laughs> this is called a socket shelf this is one of my favorite gadgets it is plugs right into your regular outlet and it has uh, USB ports and outlets multiples on the sides Ooh. and it has a shelf so you can put phone? anything you want on it Ooh. and this is even great in the bathroom if you want to put your toothbrush and da 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 you know and so many different things it, you can also put it upside down and use this part as the huh. shelf so well, very clever. cool sharper image you know smart clock this one is just the smart clock it uh, connects with google um, but this one on the bottom is smart clock with a charging pad so you don't need a cord you just set your phone on it and it charges it. We even have charging pads individual like this, where you just get the pad, not the clock. And then this is a charging pad that has outlets in it. So you, oh, that's this is stri strictly for office or side table or what have you. It's got your plugs and then you just set your phone on it and it charges it. So multiple fun things. This is a charging tower. And this spins. I didn't it's, know you were so techy, by the way. Right. I mean, no, I thought you neither were DIY. Did I. I didn't know you were tech DIY. <laughs> this one spins, right? So you can get access. It's got USB ports. It's got plugs, and it also has a display thing for your phone or iPad. So this is fun. You know, this is great for on the desk. Any of these are great for on the desk. And then we have um, plug-in stuff that you know gives you multiple outlets, headphones wireless Bluetooth speakers. This is something that's really cool. This is what the is only this? thing that is not available at Home Depot, but I use it at my desk all the time. <gasps> it's a swivel it's stand. Swivel. So if I want to show somebody something, you have to see that. So homedepot.com or um, you know online. And then coming up, we're going to talk about how to make a computer riser, because ergonomically, you should not be looking down at your computer especially if you work at your computer all day long, sitting there bent over, um, you, you needs to be higher, just like your TV should be high on the wall. So we'll talk about all that um, coming, coming up, up in the next in segment. The next hour. And I'll have okay. all this information on my Home Depot Debbie Facebook page and Instagram if anybody's interested. So now we've got to start a tech series apparently too. <laughs> We're still keeping Home Depot Debbie, so you know, now we got Home Depot tech. We got to keep it fresh. One other thing that right, I just want to talk about, this is cord management. I mean, oh, we have I like cords that. everywhere, right? So these little devices, this one holds four cords and it has sticky on it and you stick it down on the desk. 
put your cords through it, and it keeps them organized. And these are individual ones, small and large, so you can really organize your cords so they're not like all over. We also have the twist ones so that cords behind the computer can stay organized as well. Anyway, I could go on so forever. You can, you can do it behind. I you think can. I need to come and help people and get some of this stuff because my cords are all, you know, tangled and nothing's organized. But Debbie's given us some inspiration and some good ideas That's this morning. It. Okay, we'll all see right. you back at 8 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, time right now is 8.48, hanging out with uh, Home Depot Debbie, Debbie yeah. Hernandez. Yes. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank she you. made me put on the gloves because we got <laughs> some things to work on today. So in our last hit, we talked about people working from home a lot more yep. and trying to make things a little bit more ergonomic because sitting down in front of a computer screen can really take a lot and put your, your back and your neck into pretty bad shape. Absolutely. So if you're sitting here and you're, and this is desk height, yeah. and you're sitting at your computer, you're pretty much looking down at your screen, and the spine and carpal tunnel in your uh -huh. hands are two of the most common things. So lifting it up is going to give your neck a break, and it's going to give you full view of your screen and not hurt your spine. Now, as Home Depot Debbie would do. Uh -huh. uh, originally, when I sat down, I'm like, I need something to raise this up. So I just took some two by sixes, right, right. Just cut put them underneath. up, and raised it up. But now we're going to do something a little prettier yeah, okay. and actually make a uh, computer stand. It's a computer riser. Now you can purchase computer risers at HomeDepot.com, ones that uh, go up and down to adjust to your height, whatever you want. Um, there's acrylic, very modern ones if you want. And then there's also corner ones and then stand up stuff. There's even ones that have drawers in them uh, that can raise it up. And then again, you can do stand up ones if you want to stand um, and mount your monitor. So there's a lot of things you could do, but yeah. something really easy to do to make a riser and make it pretty is to use a wood product. Now we sell nice wood um, planks and this is gonna take a one by 12 okay. and then a one by six for the legs. Now these are different types of wood. This is pine, which is very soft and the least expensive. This is gonna be maple, this is oak, and this is mahogany. So whatever suits your needs the best right. is what you're gonna choose. And of course they go from least expensive to most expensive. And what you're gonna do is you're going to cut, and we could cut this for you at Home Depot, sure. or if you have access to a saw at home, you're gonna cut two pieces um, that are 12 inches or the same size as the mounting board um, as the legs, and then you have your one by 12 that is gonna be the top piece. Pretty easy to make, right? Really easy. Yeah. So then what you're gonna do after you get your wood cut is you're gonna take and you're going to screw it together. Now, the key is to pre-drill. It's okay. super important. What you're gonna do is you're gonna drill down. Now I have the screw in here just for demonstration purposes. But we're gonna screw down all the way in the first board and then you're going to even it up, screw down through the whole thing to make sure that the screw can go all the way down without splitting the wood. Uh -huh. Otherwise, if you try and put a screw down, it's gonna split right. and then you're gonna lose your Have wood. Have to go back and right. get another also, one. Right, also, just to give it a little more security, I like to either use some wood glue or some Gorilla Glue, but a very thin, like you can see I'm barely putting any thickness on it. Mm -hmm. And of course, you're gonna go all the way down to the end, just a couple dollops, because what's gonna happen is the screw's gonna hold it together while the glue is drying, yeah. the glue bonds the wood together. So you're gonna have double strength. Then we're gonna put this together like so, and we're going to screw down into the wood. And, and voila, just voila, like that, Just right? like that. Then we're gonna stain it. Okay. Now, real quick, I just wanna say, this is pre-stain conditioner, and you could tell what the difference is mm -hmm. from, uh, yes, pre-stain conditioner, and no. And this is the difference in what it looks like. Pre-stain conditioner is gonna give you a more even look. And I'm sorry so much, Debbie, but ah. we're gonna have to cut this short because we're okay. running out of time. But uh, yeah, not able to do the pre-stain look, but I mean, obviously it adds character yes. and more depth to, to what you're trying to and do. And do it in whatever color you want, stain or paint or anything. And all the information, if you have any questions, will be on my Home Depot Debbie Facebook page and Instagram, YouTube, or find me at the Arrowhead Ranch Home Depot in Glendale. Awesome. All right, we'll send it back to you guys. All right.